Anders Johansson has stated that Ingve Malmsteen was not happy with the way Odyssey became too commercial of an album. This is the Rock and Roll Weatherman. My name is Sean Morrison. It's a good interview that was posted in Sleaze Rock. You got to give the full thing a listen. It's from here, um, like I said, Anders Johansson, you know, his brother, keyboard player Jens, was also involved with Ingve Malmsteen for a brief period in the 80s from a few records, including Odyssey. Apparently, the label wanted, the, which was Polydor, which was this um, part of Polygram, wanted the next Bon Jovi. Very interesting comments. You know, he said that they didn't like the fact that they spoke Swedish. Very, very odd with that as well. And then they hired the American, the American vocalist, of course, Joel and Turner was involved in this album. There's nothing wrong with the Odyssey album. The opinion of Mr. Morrison was commercial, but it still had the, the um, heavy, um, good stuff from Ingve Malmsteen. That he continues to do today. If you're not subscribed to the Sean Martin YouTube channel, please do so. Everyone else out there that subscribed, thank you very much for your continued love, honor, and support. It's greatly appreciated. And of course, um, the Odyssey album has his biggest hit in America to this day, which is, of course, Heaven Tonight, which was a mainstream rock hit. And of course, you know, he's known for other songs, which include You Don't Remember. I'll never forget as well as I'll see the light tonight. So very interesting commentary from Anders Johansson, the former Ingve Malmsteen drummer, regarding Odyssey on how Ingve Malmsteen did not like the album Odyssey at all. Got to give it a read. Like I said, Mr. Morrison read it on Sleaze Rocks. Sleaze Rocks, yes, that's the um, name of the magazine. It's a website as well as a Facebook page. And like I said, I'm a fan of the Odyssey album. I still listen to it every so often. Shame, shame, shame. 